What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The Piano Tutorial Man. Back again with another one. <laughs> okay. Classic. Yes, indeedy. You already know who to feed. <clears throat> yeah. So yes, man, we are here with a beautiful song, and it's called Like a Star, and the original artist's name is Corinne Bailey Ray. Now, when I got the request to do this tutorial, it was a specific live performance. It was a band that was covering the song, but here's the thing. They said they wanted the chords based off of that, but... That cover band basically used the same chords. So the chords I'm about to teach you right now, you can use it with that cover band version or the original version, okay? I'll have a link to the cover band version in the description box if you want to hear that version as well. But this song is pretty simple. It's the same songs over and over again. I already gave you a nice long intro. Let's get into the song. Okay, so the first chord you want to play you want to do, I'm calling this an A minor 7 over D, okay? D on your left hand. So D on the left hand, A, C, E, G on the right hand. Your next chord, it's going to be an E7 flat 9. So you got your E on the left hand. Then you got yourself an A flat, B natural, D, and F on your right hand. Then you want to go to an A minor 9 chord, A on your left hand, G, B, C, E on your right hand. Now you're going to keep your left hand on A and on your right hand you want to go to an A minor 6 so that's going to be a F sharp, A, C, E on your right hand. Okay, then after that, you're going to jump, move over to a D minor 9, D on the left hand, F, A, C, E on the right hand. Then you're going to play that E7 flat 9 chord again, E on the left hand, A flat, B, D, F on your right hand. Then you're going to do A minor 9, A on your left hand, G, B, C, E on your right hand. Then you're going to go to G minor 7, that's G on your left hand, G, B flat, D, F on your right hand. Then take your left hand, move it over to C, and then on your right hand, just take this F move it over to E and you can keep every, all your other notes the same and that's going to be a C dominant 9 chord C on your left hand G B flat D E um, I'm just calling that the chords for the verse because I'm assuming that's just the verse so you're going to play all those chords every time you play the verse so it's, the way you play that together is simply 2 3 4 1 2 Three, four, one, two, three, and then go to the A minor six, right? And then D minor nine, E seven flat nine, back to the A minor nine. Then you got the okay. Now. The only that's the one six. There's just two sections that you play. The other section I just labeled it on the chord sheet as chorus. You are basically playing all of the same chords except you're changing two of them. And the two chords that you're changing, you're changing it into the same thing. Everything else is going to be the same. So remember all those chords I just taught you. But now when it's time to play the next section, instead of starting with that A minor 7 over D, forget that one. Start with an F major 9. You just want to start with an F major 9 chord now. So you got your F on the left hand, 
G A C E on your right hand. And then all the other chords are the same. So I'm just going to show them to you because I already spelled them out a minute ago. That's your E7 flat nine. That's the next chord. Then you're going to play the A minor, the uh, A minor nine again. And then you're going to play your G minor seven. Then you're going to play the C9 again. And then you're going to play the F major 9 chord again. F on the left hand, G, A, C, E. And then you're going to go to the E7 flat 9 again. And that's it. After that, you're literally playing those two sets of chords back and forth from the beginning to the song until you end the song, okay? That's the whole song. So let me um just demonstrate. So when the song first starts, there is no introduction. It just comes right in on the verse. So you got two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then go to the minor six. Two, three, D minor nine, two. Three E seven flat nine two A minor nine two three G minor seven now go to the F major nine right now everything else is the same E seven flat nine A minor seven then go to G minor seven C nine F major 9 then the E7 flat 9 and that's it and then you just play everything again you literally just keep playing those two group of chords over and over again and when you get to the end of the song on the version that I put in the link of this video that's a cover band plan the cover band they actually end on an A minor 6 so when you get to the end of the song, just end the song with this A minor 6 chord, which is A on the left hand. It's, it's the same A minor 6 you played before. You got the F sharp, A, C, E. This is how the cover band ends it. The cover band will be like, mm. then they'll slow it down. And then they end it on the... And they just ended on that A minor 6. Um, the way the original artist ends it, she just ends it. She just ends it on the E7 flat 9. And then the song is over. <laughs> but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole song. That's how you play it. You literally play the same chords all the way from beginning to the end. And then when you get to the ending, I showed you how the cover band ended. And I just showed you how the original singer, Corinne, ended it. Hopefully that helped you out. And I will definitely catch you on the next one. Peace.